stigmatization is a global and an old age phenomenon which cuts across all societies and culture uses. So victim of um, stigma includes persons or people of age brackets, sex or your gender, your socioeconomic background, your professions, your ethnic and your racial group. They get it. So the first point is all talking about um stigmatization is an ancient thing one something that started way, 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 way back. And it's mostly found in all societies and all cultures. You get it. And people that are normally affected are people within age group. Do you get it? Like let me use a child and an elderly person. Automatically sometimes the the older person feels like he knows better than the child. Do you get it? Which it's not all always to do you get it? Do you get it? And also um some people feel like yeah, like I used age bracket like elderly and young not to make it too this thing. Or maybe someone feeling muscular and someone feeling like the person is not muscular. The muscular will try and use what he has to I mean, makes the other one feel very bad. Do you get it? Uh -huh. Or maybe um, sex, sex. You know, you know, whether you're a lady or you know, people be like, oh, this girl, yeah, she's, she's a small girl. Do you, do you get what I'm trying to say? No matter how good she is, people may, may still look down upon her. But let me use a typical example is maybe um, a kid uncle. Because she's an illiterate, do you get it? And she's a woman or whatever. People don't really, when she wanted to contest, people were looking now upon her. They get it. Uh -huh. so, and socioeconomic trait, they get it. People doing blue color jobs are not really respected. They get it. They see them to be some way be. Not always do, but I'm using blue color jobs, unlike the white color jobs. They get it. Yes. They get it. Uh -huh. Some may see them that they are poor. And you have professions, it's also similar. You see, when someone is a shoe uh, cobbler or whatever, or let me say shoemaker, and when someone is working in the bank, people respect the cobbler, uh, sorry, the one in the bank more than the cobbler. You have the ethnic, some ethnic groups see themselves better than others, especially it happens to the Asante see themselves better than the Northness, yes, and racial group. Do you get it? So it's similar to it. You get it. Uh -huh. So they are saying that what stigma. The second point is saying that stigma originally results from a type of mark or burn into the skin of cri um, criminal slaves or tra traitors in order to visibly identify them as blemish and therefore to be avoided. Uh -huh. So when we are explaining it, I will say that what these are um it can be a mark um a a, a, a a dot or maybe like a spot or decoloration they get it uh -huh. they get it like an, an albino or also someone with two different skin they get it it's a bit different from birth marks they get it uh -huh. which which flows the person's skin or makes the person look different they get it uh -huh. from others they get it uh -huh. usually in a bad way such as um we see them to be blemish or something they get it so we are saying that what this this can be a cut too they get it that that's on a criminal or a slave or a traitor in order to visibly identify them as what blemish and therefore be avoided do you get it uh -huh. so that is it So we are also saying, say, um, we are, me personally, I think that it's an a summary of what we, we said in the first one, saying that what it's from a social background and cultural background, they get in all, which cut across all cultural background, they get it. Uh -huh. And mostly people that are blemished or they find a problem with their skin, they get it, uh -huh. or they create it for them. As a, as a result, so they've been a traitor, a slave, or a bad person. 
they get it uh -huh. so in summary we are saying that's what um it is a set of cognitive image they get it uh -huh. sorry it's a set of negative cognitive images you get it into right a stereotype we, we, we explain stereotype as an oversimplified view someone has about you you get it a negative simplified view someone has about you you get it or a group of people you get it uh -huh. so this is a set of negative cognitive image you get it or stereotype associated with a person with unwanted characteristics which endangers socially undesirable discreting reactions into racket prejudice on sites and as, as a result the person is usually avoided or discrimination against um i repeat it is so it is like a negative image or stereotype someone has about you you get it Actually, 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 tell with your unwanted characteristics, which endanger. If I say engenders, like to cause or to um, give rise to um, um, socially undesirable, discreting reactions, do you get it? Such as a, a pre prejudice. If I say a prejudice, a prejudice is what what someone. Um, sorry, this like. Um, a judgment that someone makes about you as a result of an oversimplified view the person has about you you get it on site on site you get it and as a result of the person usually and sorry and it results as a result the person is usually avoided and discriminated you get it like people try to differentiate or isolate from such people you get it uh -huh. So um we are saying that what um Goffman nineteen eighty seven categorized stigmatization into three major types. That is the first one is what abomination of the body which predominantly involves physical deformation, blemishing of an individual's character, which is more cultural and um community specific and third and sorry and ethnic and racial nationality and religious they get it the main the main base on biological or social group members um so i'll take it again um goffman 1987 characterized um stigmatization into three major types that is the abomination of um the body of the body which predominantly involve physical deformities blemish blemishes if i say blemishes just deform deforming of a person's appearance due to a spot or a mark they get it uh -huh. or the colorization or the colorization of a person's skin the of an individual's character which is which is more culture and community specific and the last one is what ethnic racial nationality and religious so the third part is that people are being discriminated because of their the they, they race they belong like entities seeing themselves better or let me say that can't see themselves better than the northerners or maybe people in the united states seeing themselves better than the developing countries in Africa or even black Americans or maybe some religion Christians seeing their religion better than oral tradition or even Islamic religion so these are the main thing and they are saying that's what it will continue by saying that mainly based on biological or social group membership they get it so all this that we are saying is purposely based on also your you as a person that is a biological or social group like the family or the the trees you 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 come from do you get it so we are also saying say uh, we have categorization that is the source of uh, stigmatization and we are having about five types of um 
sources of stigmatization. So the five sources of stigmatization. The first one is your fatigue. Do you get it? That is the impairment. So if you see a, a person who is physically impaired or visually impaired, do you get it? Uh -huh. Or let me see, you are, your body is deformed. Do you get it? People try to avoid themselves. So do you get it? Due to the blemish you have. Do you get it? And secondly, um, social group. Do you get it? Like as I said, some ethnic groups see themselves better than others. Do you get it? Uh -huh. Like we see um Ashanti's not being able to speak good English, which is not always true. Do you get it? Or maybe um a race, maybe the Ashanti's also see themselves to be like um oh what can be near Christ, what um like they, they are open minded than other people. Do you get it? Other race uh, or maybe religion, like Christians see themselves better than oral tradition, like People worshiping God and they worshiping God. That is what they are saying. When we have cognitive, intellectual, or neurological. So if I say cognitive, it's all those with something like the mind or your your mental processor. Do you get it? So if I say something like that, um, something like epilepsy, autism, um, mental illness, hearing impaired, scattering. I know epilepsy, you guys all know, at least you have physical, you've seen it in movies or something. But autism is also what, um, like a person inability to communicate um, is, or socialize, they get it yeah, well in, in a society. Like those people that have stomachs or they, 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 they find it difficult to, to talk, they get it. Or when they talk, we hardly hear them. Do you get it? Uh huh. And we also say mental illness, like people doing things that are weird. Like do you get it? Uh huh. And also hearing impairment. So if I see hearing impairment, it's like um someone would be, is it deaf? Yeah, the person is deaf. Do you get it? Uh huh. And we have um scattering. Okay. And we have certain illness or. Yeah, which is HIV, AIDS, TB, COVID. So the long and short is that a disease that are easily transferable. Do you get it? Uh -huh. Transferable diseases. People try to avoid those people, which we see it as a form of what? Uh, stigmatization. But sometimes it's actually a good thing, especially disease like um, oh, cold. Do you get it? Yes, people with cold don't get close things close to them to actually avoid yourself from getting it. But in the negative view, someone like HIV, they get it. It can be transferred physically. They get it. So such people, you don't isolate yourself from them. That is the time they need people around them. They get it. For them to feel like they are not alone or they are not facing their problem alone. They get it. So the next one is what um, choices. Do you get it? And also when someone when someone talks about sexual orientation. Uh -huh. So se sexual orientation, it's talking about like having um an attraction for an opposite sex or even the same sex. Do you get it? Uh, or more than one gender. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Uh, so when you realize that people are attracted to maybe um, gays or lesbians or even they, 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 they really like girls, do you get it? Uh, that doesn't mean that you should discriminate them or, yes, or make them feel stigma. Do you get it? Uh -huh. So some people to you can just get closer to them to understand them. Maybe probably they are just feeling insecure about who they should go for or they, they are doing that based on a past experience that they loved someone and the person disappointed them. So you have to get closer to understand someone like him or her. And the second one is talking about hairstyle. They get it. When someone do dreadlocks, people see them to be green smokers or yeah so they don't try it or let me say mentally ill you get it so people don't like to get closer to them 
So that is actually one big challenge. So um, hair stuff. Realize that someone can also dye their hair different colors, and when we see them, we try to see them to be some kind of bad people. Do you get it? Uh -huh. So this is also no good. And when we see drunk cats, they get it. Uh, we try to just watch them because we see it to be disgusting. They get it. Uh, so that is it. Uh, we have plenty, but let's go to the next. So we are trying to explain um, why um, physique, or let me say the physical appearance of a person, um, we try to stigmatize them. The reason why we we, 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 we we discriminate or we stigmatize these people are because we see them to be um strange, do you get it? Or they are out of the normal or no. Do you get it? Uh -huh. They are not like the ordinary how we are living our life. Do you get you see them differently. Do you get it? A typical example is um if I see someone with plenty tribal mark on the person's face. I see the person to be like a threat or the person can kill. You get it. Maybe it may shock you that um it's just a culture. You get it or um that is how they are their culture they, 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 they do they do them. They get it. A typical example is um Birabi people from Nigeria. Birabi people from Nigeria, the moment they give birth to their firstborn. On their forehead, they use a knife to draw a mark. They get it, a, street, a vertical mark on their forehead. That is done for only firstborn. So if someone see them, they, they identify them as what? For the firstborn of maybe a Birabi person. But maybe to someone who doesn't have any idea about this culture, he may think, say, the person is actually... Um, a juju or um, let me see a bad person they get it mm -hmm. and the second one is we see them to not be one of us as they being weird and cool like as i said we try to judge them with our own mindset or our own culture you get it uh-huh which um the why is that what an apparently lacking of understanding either con congenital or accident do you get it? we don't know whether um we don't understand whether this kind of people what the marks or what they are having is either as a result of a natural um or let me say from back that is the congenital or it's by accident we don't know so we can't just assume by our own ways or our own culture which is very bad the second one is why social group do you get it do you get it uh, why do you have to see stigmatization like what stigmatized will be based on a social group do you get it? the first is that what so we see them to be um different or not like us or not like one of us do you get what i'm trying to say People we'll try to see them not to be part of us. Do get it? Like part of the normal people or part of a good group. And the second one is that maybe against my interest. Do get it? If I say maybe against my interest, such people we don't we don't discriminate them not because of anything but because of maybe what um how one opponent from another society has treated them with the same physical physique. Do you get it? Uh -huh. A typical example is we see a ways to have black magic. They get it, and we've seen you having some symbol or some writings that would depict uh, someone who has actually um, done something worse to a, a, another group or someone with a carriage. They got I'm trying to say wearing a carriage. We we believe that those people they can kill. They don't forgive. Do you get it? Uh -huh. So this is, these are some of the reasons why we may we may not have them in in our midst or we may stigmatize them. And also we are talking about security. They get it. Some people also feel themselves to be better than others. They get it. Uh -huh. So when the moment they hear that sort, um the let me use example, maybe the Ashantis um 
colonize maybe some part of the northern people they get it they feel like yeah you are our children like oh nah you can't come here and be better than us do you get it uh, if they come to our century or when someone comes to your land that doesn't mean that's what you should stigmatize them why we stigmatize cognitive or neurological people like the mad people or the visually impaired or like the impairment people. the reason is that we believe that these people are cursed or they've, they've, they've seen against a god or a ghost that um, has inflicted that kind of pain or disease on them. They get it. Uh, you see them to be strange. They get it. Yes, they are too strange to be part of us. They get it. And yet, if I say yet, that means they are on earthly. Like, they don't look like normal people. Like, uh, and as a result of maybe bad luck, they get it. Uh, everyone, everyone is um, seen in your family. Only you pick. You are blind. You get it. So people try to stigmatize them. And out of the normal, like different, like I've already explained it. So that is it. And we are also saying that what apparently the reason why we should stop this thing is that what we lack the understanding. We don't know them. We are just judging them based on what we think and what we already know, which sometimes is very bad. They get it uh -huh. it's because it may be um a congenital like that means maybe from bed or by accident they get it which we all don't know like an albino it's just because of lack of melanin or they get it in the in the person from in the formation of the person's DNA they get it and this is this has resulted in that or maybe someone with a deformed body as a result of either increase of, of um, chromosome number, do you get it? Uh -huh. From 23 to 40 something, or to 30 something, or as a re result of a reduced um, chromosome number from 23 to maybe 9 or 6. Do you get it? Uh -huh. We are seeing that's so what the next one is why certain illness. The why is apparent lack of understanding about the person, like what I said. Or we don't know whether it's um it's natural or let me say by birth or by accident, and also maybe if the person may be cursed or no, we don't know. But we we try to judge the person, or as a result of a person living um giving up in life, do you get? He doesn't really care about whatever happens to him or wherever he goes, do you get? It? So we don't judge them. You don't know what the person has been through before making such a decision. So you don't stigma those people. And by choice, someone can decide to say, oh, I just want to look different. Do you get it? Uh -huh. I just don't want to belong to any group. Like if the person decides to say that I'm not a Christian, I'm not a Muslim, because of God failing me or God not being able to do what, or when I needed him the most, he, he didn't show up. Do you get it? And I was disgraced, so I didn't actually get anything. So from now on, I'm not part of you people. I see that I'm alone now. Do you get it? So something like that. The person has their own religion so if they are not doing what you are doing that doesn't mean that you should still mad those people they get it and when people are seen as deviants like they are bad boys they get it, bad girls they are living a loose life like smoking flirting those people you don't know why they are also going to to make that kind of choice they get it uh-huh well it's perhaps it's the only thing that makes them happy or makes them forget um certain pain that they are going through so you don't use it to judge them but rather you try to get closer to know if ways you can use to help them and the why is that what the apparent normal person may be due to this get so basically this or what you can see and we are also saying say we have physical uh, sorry physique uh, physique actually with stigma so these are the words Things that like if your your physical appearance that is associated with stigma, do you get when people see you, they get worried. Do you get it? People try to be concerned. People fear you, or people see you to disguise. You. Do you get it? So these are some of the things that you may face when you are being um, stigmatized in terms of your physique. Do you get it?
this there's some of the things that you can be socially stigmatized as a result of your physique or let me see sorry as a result of um your stigma when people stigmatize as a result of your social negatives and example is what suspicious negative people try to suspect you about something people try to avoid you like they don't like to get closer to you negative and also this this dream like so that this dream is basically talking about a feeling that um something or someone is what unworthy of your respect or your consideration you get what i'm trying to say we don't even consider those people. we don't even respect those people uh -huh. and we draw our like it's similar to our avoidance so if you used to be nice to the person now the person is drinking and or the person is doing something that is contrary to your religion then you try to avoid the person uh -huh. which um it's it, it's not good do you get it uh -huh. you get it or if someone tells you that he, he doesn't believe in god again that god exists yeah, he doesn't go to church again instead of trying to get to know why the person is behaving that way you try to avoid the person which is very bad and we have um cin this this one the cin literally mean um cervical um interepithelial um, neurological yeah. Yeah, I'm not 100% certain, but it should be that, which is basically a form of deformity that are actually okay from that they get it, or as a result of your, your the womb, it happens in the womb when you give birth, they get it. So those people, people try to avoid them, they get it, uh -huh. like, like, as I said, a normal fish should have a chromosome of 23, so if someone has more or less the person tries to get deformed or the person get deformed in a way that you don't want to get closer to those people and we are talking about withdrawal people try to isolate themselves from those people they get it uh -huh. I, if, if if it happened by accident maybe someone was having a normal face and get a serious bent they get it uh -huh. or serious cuts we, we try to withdraw ourselves from them because we see them to be um, a threat or ugly or something based on how we feel and we fear them they get it uh -huh. we fear them they get it so we are afraid that they can do something bad against it or sometimes in a good way we get concerned and worried about them like with how they manage to set something imagine that someone whose leg has been cut this person we try to ask us our hands have been cut how does the person wash or is blind how does the person wash how does the person do certain things we begin to get worried about those things and we are talking about illness they get it so illness too is associated with stigma they get it so when someone is very sick you get it we, we try to especially the transferable ones we try to um get scared of them like hiv is they get it uh -huh. we are we get scared and afraid of those people and um, contamination infection someone with what um blemish they get it like this coloring or let me say a, a mark or a deep scar you get it uh -huh. we try to um um leave them or maybe rushes something to do that can easily be transferred and um concern biggest and also anxiety a typical example is maybe someone in holding has they get it uh -huh. they get it's like one of the valves are not really working or it's torn and they get it uh -huh. and the blood doesn't flow um, or circulate correctly we, the person gets anxiety like hey, it, even if the person is having a faster heartbeat or slow heartbeat the person gets worried that the person is about to die or something bad is about to happen to the person you get it uh -huh. so and overwhelm overwhelming overwhelm. so overwhelming we purposely or limited basically well, I want to helpless yeah about something they get it so it is similar to what i've said if someone tries to get the matter is based on choices like people will draw from him avoiding him distrain suspicious they get it if i say distrain people don't respect him or consider him to be a human 
they just if you try to see them to be able in the society because we suspect them or because of their mark or the things they do they get it or their physical characteristics and we are also saying we fear them we get worried we have concern they get it these are the physical things or let me say based on choices of an individual choice that you make they get it and we are talking about this in terms of what ways of minimizing stigmatizing so how can we reduce all this stigma in the society the first one is that what we have multiple approaches the first one is we should educate aware awareness you create awareness you educate them you should create awareness um sensitization that is both stigma and the stigma okay so the long the long and short is that we should educate and create awareness they get it through uh, multiple mediums such as the opinion leaders the media so that people who have who get a better understanding of those people so when you bring someone who is actually stigma type they get it and the person is to tell their story you begin to understand that some of them are not bad or it's, that it's not the way we think and thirdly sorry secondly legalization slash policy sanction in a sense that what we should make what and um, illegal laws or policies that's what prevent people from discriminating people or will, will deter people from stigmatizing others